<laughs> How's everybody doing? Well, today we are going to do uh, the moon in Leo when it pertains to the men of the Zodiac. The moon in Leo for the men of the Zodiac, part one and two. And we have a lot to cover with this one. You know, even though I do believe that it is relatively easy. This this combination with the Leo male is far more predictable, is far more um, static. And when I say static, meaning that it is, um, well, predictable. <laughs> you know, I'm saying the same thing when I say static and predictable is the same thing. The Leo moon man, believe it or not, not that much different from the moon, from the sun in Leo, man. Um, they share the same psychology, you know, and their psychology is so easy to figure out. Unlike the moon in Leo female, who's far more complex to figure out. Once you get past that brightness of the sun and you go in the inner core, remember, not many people, well, there are no space probes from the United States or from any other country for that matter that has actually succeeded in entering the inner core of the sun. We have gone to all the other planets of our own solar system, including a few moons, but we have not gone into the sun, the solar sun itself. It's impossible. Those probes will not come back out. So it's difficult to get to know the inner psychology of the sun. Or, or if we're talking material science, it's difficult to find out what's really inside that burning sun. That burning sun besides hydrogen, right? Because there's got to be other things going on, but we just don't know, and there's no way for us to know. Getting that close to the sun, okay? So. When we're dealing with the moon in Leo concerning men, here we're taking a more sober approach. The regality of the Leo moon woman coalesces and cools down with the moon in Leo male, where the energy is less histrionic, more conservative, more ulstered, and more dignified. With the Leo woman or the Leo moon woman, she comes with a lot of noise. With a lot of noise. Noise without having her use her lips or her mouth. And noise if she uses her lips or mouth. But when it comes to the Leo moon and the man, the keynote word for the day is silent dignity. The Leo man possesses, or the Leo moon man, but then again, the Leo man too, meaning the sun and Leo man, possess a sort of austere, reserved, disciplined, austere dignity. But there's something not quite healthy about the Leo man's or the Leo moon man's uh, dignity. Because you see, one thing that I didn't mention, that I'm going to mention now, is that the Leo moon is bigoted. Uh, people that are bigots, you know, racist, you know, the Leo moon, because remember, Leo defines the clan, defines the, the, the bloodline. So therefore, Leo rules to a certain degree bigotry. And we see this expressed very strongly in the male, moon Leo, than in the female, moon Leo. The Leo moon man can be very bigoted, can be very racist if he is inclined towards that modality, or he can be quite um, judgmental and even ruthless in his judgments, although it won't be noisy, it won't be dramatic, it will be quiet. He's made a judgment about you. And in that same swift of a breath of a painter, 
will dismiss you if he doesn't feel that you are worth his time or energy or even his space. And boy, you think the Taurus woman can insult you by her silence? Talk to a Leo moon man, or a man with a moon in Leo. His silence and his form of dismissal can be far worse than that of the Taurus woman or the Taurus male. Look what I'm drinking today. I am drinking a Mumbai, Mumbai martini with with Bumba, with that country's exotic uh, berries and strawberries. They're different species than those found here in the West. I had them imported. It's delicious, delicious, delicious. <laughs> Mumbai berries, okay. All righty. So, uh, this is, oh, oh, first of all, a few announcements. You know, I just jumped right in, didn't I? <laughs> Let me give you some um, announcements. First of all, it is time to donate to the GoFundMe page. Yes. You know, I don't advertise. You all know that. I don't advertise when I do my videos, but now I'm going to have to. You must, and please give in the boatload. Giving the boatload. Um, I'm in theater production, which is why I'm very scant with my productions, you know, with my videos, because I'm doing that. I'm doing the Moon series, and then I'm running the class. You know, I have a class now. I'm running a school. I was following For those of you who are interested, call me to do four, three, four, seven, four, eight, five, six, two, five, eight. Call me if you want a consultation or reading, or if you want to enroll in my classes. You know, or if you want to donate, of course, you can go to my GoFundMe page, uh, dot com slash public charity. Okay? Love your donations. Welcome them. Thank you. Remember, you're paying for content, right? If the if, if not enough money is going on my GoFundMe page, then I will have to diminish during these series, okay? Because I don't take YouTube salary. No, they take so much out of you, so it's not worth it. So... Please continue your GoFundMe because the money goes to support the theater, as you all know. So, again, thank you so much for that. And for those of you who are interested in the courses, also contact uh, me or my manager, Corinne Green. You know, you already know that. And you can look at my websites. Okay, enough of the advertising. Okay, now understand that. Let me just give you a, a, a few generalities concerning the, uh, the Moon in Leo and then will break it down to the Leo Moon Man. Okay? You have to understand that uh, uh, the Moon in Leo describes the... Uh, the in, well, the Moon alone, the Moon alone describes your instinctual nature and your instinctual responses. Okay? Okay? Uh, it also describes your emotional energies, your innate reactions, and, 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 and also what you need to feel in order to feel comfortable. What you need to feel in order to feel comfortable, in order to feel like you are in control. Okay? One second here. Again, you know... You know how we do. We go through these things all the time. Okay. Okay. So understand that the moon governs uh, your emotional reactions. And it also can reveal your emotional, genetic, and intuitive makeup. Now, your sun sign describes qualities you are learning to develop and to become as you get older. Remember, I mentioned that before. The moon defines the current reality of the ego and the personality. Okay? We are moving away from ego and personality and moving towards character. And character is defined by the placing of the sun on the signs of the zodiac, and also by the placing of Saturn, the planet Saturn. The planet Saturn governs character, while the sun governs the personality. 
and a higher octave. But the sun, actually in actual practice, with both exoteric and esoteric astrology, rules the soul and the character we share with Saturn, while the moon and the ascendant govern the personality and the ego. Okay? I understand that this is an apparatus. In school, we are taught about the psychic apparatus. You Do you remember hearing that term? The psychic apparatus. We learned it in college, uh, uh, in high school and in college. Where it's the id, the ego, and the superego. As we learned it in high school psychology class, or one-on-one -on -one college psychology in the freshman year. That's the psychic apparatus, the superego, the ego, and the id. Okay? In astrology, we have the same psychic apparatus. The sun, which is the soul, the moon, which is the ego, and then the ascendant, the personality. Okay? So there are three bodies involved. So just like in conventional science, we have the psychic apparatus. In astrology, we also have a psychic apparatus, but we don't categorize it quite the same way. Right? <clears throat> and if you are to understand human character and human nature, you need to understand these characteristics of this apparatus, of the human psyche. No more do you see this than... In um, in the moon phases and in the moon sign. I mean, look at Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger has the moon in Leo, and you know women go crazy for him, and he has sex appeal of the yin yang. Man go crazy. Uh, bit my tongue. You know I wasn't supposed to say that, but I'm gonna say it. Man go crazy for his ass, as well as women. He commands both sexes, and he's so hot, even at his age now, and he still exudes the child within. Come on, are you serious? Mid Jagger, perfect example of the moon in Leo in a man. He's an eternal child, and his music to die, to die for. Oh, come on. If he throws a concert, I will get on a fucking print and go and see him. And be screaming and cheering like a bitch at 18 years old. That's how he makes men and women feel, regardless of age. Oh, Leo is fascinating. Leo is fascinating. I can't, I can't talk enough about the moon in Leo. Or Leo, period. It is the inner sun illuminating out the personality from within. Woe's me. Or anybody. That encounters a little man or woman that's depressed or sad. It's almost unheard of. It's unheard of. Judy, have you heard of a depressed or a uh, little man or woman? Have you? Unheard of. I mean, unheard of. My manager is calling me now, everybody. One second. How are you? How are you? Uh, depressed, my bike was stolen. Yeah, it just keeps getting better. But I'm I'm live taping. So I'm doing the moon in Leo and you're on the air. So I'll call you as soon as I am done. Everybody, Mrs. Green, the manager. <laughs> Alrighty. Going back. Now, one of the things that we can say about the the sign of Leo, uh you know, the sign of Leo is ruled by the sun. And associated with royalty. Okay? So to have the moon in Leo, or to have any planets in Leo, that part of you is all royalty. Prestige. Beauty. Glamour. You know? But this is why a lot of people are jealous of people with the moon in Leo, or with a strong Leo emphasis on their birth charts. Because, like myself, I have, you all know I have, a, I have a very strong Leo, you know, and, you know, I command attention everywhere I go, whether I like it or not, whether I want it or not. 
And that's going to also bring a lot of jealousy to you. So for those of you with the moon in Leo, and, and if you get a lot of hate, then you're the shit. Because you know what they say, you ain't shit unless you got haters. So if you got haters, and I, I, I got plenty of haters, and mighty enemies too, and I'm proud of it. That means I'm shit. Because if you're shit, then you're worthy of having powerful enemies. Because that means you're doing something right. So don't fret. Don't be depressed. Know that you're the shit. People want to be you or want to take away your scepter. There can only be one king, and that's you. Be proud, and the others can hate all they want. Okay? Now, talking about drama and creativity when it comes to this combination, you are likely to have a, an innate sense of dignity. Another thing that the moon in Leo confers, also the sun in Leo, is that it is a sign of dignity. You got people, you know, you know, you know there are people that have more dignity in their pinky than in their entire body. You no? Know? Leo is the sign of dignity, innate dignity, self-respect, self-love, self-preservation. It's different than the kind of self-love and self-preservation that we see in Capricorn. You know, Capricorn, you know, is the devil. So he's entitled. With Leo, a Leo can be just as bigoted and just as um, self-inflammatory and self-inflated. But there is a humbleness and a humility with the moon in Leo for the person who's elevated enough to exude that. That is so beautiful that it will make the crown in his head or her head shine like the beacon stars of Orion. Uh, absolutely beautiful. True human beauty. We see this with the moon in Leo. Tutors for you if you were born with the moon in Leo. What, how, what a blessing, what a blessed position to have the moon in. No, understand that you are the cat's meow and will always be. The only thing that will outshine you is the sun itself. Know that, Mr. Leo, Mrs. Leo. I can't talk enough about Leo. It is the reason for my own existence. <laughs> Leo is the king, the queen. So there is going to be a sense of dignity, a sense of pride, a sense of self-importance. That's okay. If you were born with that placing, then you are to give yourself that importance. But understand that in so doing... There is a great responsibility attached to that. You have to deliver the goods. Because then you're going to fall flat on your face. And then you will lose grace. You will fall from grace. The moon in Leo has a dark side, a shadow side, which is that the people are out to take away your crown. And you can fall from grace. You can lose popularity. Whereas you were popular, now you become unpopular. Where you had the world eating out of your hands, now you're being thrown to the swine. Now, with the moon in Leo, you stand the chance of being betrayed. Deeply betrayed by having someone or your lover cheat on you. That is a powerful betrayal that can occur with someone with the moon in Leo or those with a lot of emphasis with Leo in their charts. So understand that with beauty and glamour and popularity, all of that can reverse on you. Think of Halle Berry, okay? And many of the other Leo women who have had all kinds of tumultuous love affairs and have not been able to get it right. That is the fate that falls upon those born with the moon in Leo. So you have to ask yourself, how do you handle, how do you balance that? Leo men 
and Leo women, or those with emphasis in the moon in Leo, they have a lot of enemies. People don't like you because they love you. They hate you because they adore you. They despise you because they can't stop thinking about you. It is paradoxical. Love it and enjoy it. There will never be another one like you. With the moon in Leo, the stars and the moon and the sun bow down to you, Mr. and Mrs. Leo. <laughs> so walk with your head high and with pride. Because there will never you will never be outshone. And for those who have a problem with it, oh well. Whatever, whatever. Right? <laughs> now, let's let's talk a little bit about drama. Oh my god. You know that soap operas falls under Leo. And let me tell you, just in case you didn't know, 50% of all the profits of the networks on television. 50% of the profits come from soap operas. Just in case you didn't know. ABC, ABC, NBC, CBS, Channel 2, Channel 4, Channel 7, all those major channels, they will not be making money because 50% of the revenue that, that comes into these networks come from soap operas. And soap operas belong to the realm of Leo. So, so that means that Leo rules drama and creativity. Oh my God, creative, creative, just creative. Okay? On, an instinctive, on an instinctive level, you are likely to feel very strong emotions because when you have the moon in Leo, you experience strong emotions. Now, my partner, he has the moon in Leo. No. And the moon in Leo is majestic, it's masterful, but it's strong and stubborn. The moon in Leo can be very dangerous because the form of fixity that exists with the moon in Leo, you don't find in any other, other fixed sign, for the exception of Scorpio. You know, Scorpio is, is, is probably the worst or the harshest, but in reality, so is Taurus, so is Leo. And Aquarius, so the fixed signs they really take a, a cake on this. So, with the moon in Leo, man, he's not gonna change for you. If he changes, it'll be for his own self, but not for you, you know, because the Leo moon man really feels intrinsically and innately that he is who he is and that he has the right to be who he is, and he follows every law of his own being to the T without any accountability from nobody else, from no one else, not even his wife. His wife will never dominate this man. You need to see my videos on the moon in Leo or how to get a Leo man. Very, If you women want a Leo moon man, the first thing that you got to do is you better throw away your net. Throw away your catcher's mitt. Because this man cannot be taken, cannot be ruled, controlled, or, 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 or dominated. You would not be able to control or dominate this man. If you want to control or dominate a man, get the others from the Zodiac. Not Leo. You will not win here. So here, Miss Woman, you're going to have to take a second seat. I know the woman is the queen and the woman is, is, the, is everything in, in a man's life. But understand that this is the sun who can, not even Saturn, the lawgiver, the lord of karma, not even Saturn can smite the sun. So that should tell you a lot. That should tell you a lot. Because if Saturn smites the sun, guess who dies with the sun? Saturn, because we cannot live without the sun. So understand just how powerful that is. That, that commands respect. So if you are dealing with a Leo Moon man, give him his due respect and let him rule you because that is what he's fit for. And if he can rule you and you let him and he gives you all the desires of your heart, 
then you are lucky bitch. The lucky bitch. I'm telling you. Some men will want that. Oh, Leo is just beautiful. And it's just the beauty of Leo is indescribable. It has not reached the imagination of the language of human beings. I'm sorry, I know. I'm, I'm putting I'm laying it thick, am I? So what? <laughs> it is the reason, it is the reason for living. The Leo Moon Man is playful. He's charming. He's affectionate. He loves to cuddle. He's endearing. The only exception to that is if he happens to be a Scorpio with the moon in Leo. The, 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 the sun in Scorpio is so powerful that it can actually make the moon in Leo signature a little bit more colder than, and less warm than it should naturally be. But with all other things being equal, the moon in Leo uh, generates a powerful sense of warmth, if not an actual energy of warmth. That is so encapsulated, so wonderful. And I run out of, out of time. I did 26 minutes and 5 seconds. I got to go to part 2. I got caught up.